going on everybody? So it's been a few weeks since I made an update, but I was actually uh, chasing some issues going on on the tank. It hasn't been a smooth ride um, past few weeks, and uh, I'll let you know some of the issues. And I ultimately have taken the uh, Chato reactor offline. Um, it basically wasn't doing what I wanted to do, to do and uh, um, you know, it was doing okay, but it was basically a roller coaster ride of it growing and then not growing and diagnosing it and figuring out what's going on and resetting. And it started just to become way more maintenance than it was worth doing and uh, um, measuring it to the benefits it was having. Um, it was almost, you know, pulling it apart weekly was becoming kind of a pain in the ass um you know i could see it's way more practical if you have a sump and you can just stick your hand in there trim some chato pull it out and you're done you know but taking a, a reactor off taking it to the sink washing it out trimming the chato dismantling the reactor in the beginning and then reassembling the reactor and then putting it back into this little nice tight compartment in the back here with the pump having to be just right, it was kind of just a big pain in the ass, so I made the decision to pull it offline. And uh, basically what was happening, I was getting hair algae growing on the Chato itself, um, which I don't know why that would happen, but it really pissed me off bad that algae would start growing on top of algae, and the algae that you didn't want. And I ended up starting to get um, um, hair algae on the sand bed which I tried to research about it and most people you know would throw up pictures and say it was hair algae but it was really diatoms but what I'm getting here is basically hair algae growing out of the sand bed and I cannot figure out why it's not growing anywhere else not growing on the rocks at all any um but I'm pretty sure that is not diatoms um, the only thing I can think of is maybe some kind of silicates leaching out of this sand. Uh, not sure. Um, testing with a HANA checker. It was showing zero phosphates. Um, this is after I pulled the Chato reactor off, and then uh, I figured that HANA checker is wrong. I got if I got algae in here, so I got a Red Sea, uh, the Red Sea um, phosphate check uh, kit test kit, and it was showing 0.08 phosphates which I still think is not really t high enough to start growing that much algae I, I'm not sure I even cut down on the feeding um, if you notice I got rid of the uh, two clown uh, not two the two chromis ended up getting this clownfish uh, another friend here which they're pretty happy together um but yeah it's an issue that I'm still trying to figure out I might just let it run its course as long as it doesn't keep increasing um it's just on the sand bed i tried to siphon it it just grows right back out um can't tell why it's happened i got some uh nazareth snails you call them they just dig in there see if they can take care of any spots in the sand maybe something died is in there uh it's, time will tell um i ended up getting a new reactor um uh aquamax reactor back here um, and that, since I took the Chato out, I'm just running, um, I don't know if you can see that, I mixed, uh, carbon, Seachem carbon and, uh, Fosgard in there and kind of smashed it down because I don't want it to, uh, tumble at all. I'm not supposed to tumble Fosgard or GFO, I mean, or, uh, carbon, sorry. Um, I've tried Fosgard a long time ago, it wasn't really the best results, didn't really seem to do much, but I'm just giving it another try. That was uh, that was when I had it, I put it in a little baggie and put it in the uh, tank, and that never really did much for me, so I'm trying it in this reactor, see if it can get some better flow through it. Because um, I'm trying to stay away from the GFO, because uh, I'm pretty sure probably the roll fossil would take care of this issue with the algae, but um, it, what it tends to do is suck the pH right out of the water. I'm trying to maintain that pH, um, which it is pretty good, doing pretty good here. Um, I also had a big magnesium issue. The tank kept registering it on my uh, NIOS test kit, 1100 ppm, so pretty, pretty low, kind of low. Um, and I would uh, put, uh, 
you know, the Red Sea Foundation magnesium in here and it would register, it would read that proportionally to what I would add. So it would start going up in magnesium and I would get it up to 1300 in here. And I actually bought a uh, uh, ultra gold torch, which cost me some good bit of money. And that thing ended up melting away in about two days. Um, and then I would change the change the water. The magnesium level would drop right back down to about 1100, 1150. Tested the magnesium in the uh, salt water itself. The, the fresh batch of salt water with reef crystals, and it was showing low magnesium. So I ended up buying uh, Red Sea Pro Salt, and that ended up showing 1150. So then I just finally concluded that was a super bad test kit, and I would never buy that NIOS one again. So I ended up getting a Salifert test kit testing my tank after water change and I was reading 1600 over 1600 parts per million um, that's a guesstimate because a test kit wouldn't even go that high somewhere between 1600 and 1700 so uh, did another couple water changes got it down back down right now to about 1450 uh, or 1500 so everything right now is still doing pretty good still growing corals this uh, bird's nest is going it just it doesn't it never stops growing no matter what happens in this tank um everything's still pretty healthy fish are pretty healthy um couple new corals a new uh rock flower and enemy a nice one um let's see here galaxia corals just keeps on going that really nothing phases that thing it keeps growing also um uh, monoporas are still expanding so yeah other than that the main issue now that i've taken care of the magnesium uh, issue is this phosphate this hair algae i'm not sure if it's related to the phosphate most likely it is um i even slowed down on the feeding and cut down the um you know the fish um so there's about four fish in here now rather than there was five before um yeah so don't buy a nios test kit and actually the Salifert test kit was actually a little bit cheaper than the NIOS test kit. I would stay away from those test kits after that whole um, whole issue. Um, yeah, I guess that about covers it here. Um, I might try some phosphate RX if this hair algae does not subside somewhat in the next week. Um, trying to tra try something other than uh, GFO on the tank to take care of this issue but so far and honestly it's not that bad and I probably I'm just gonna let it ride out for another week before I really make any decisions of changing anything because it's just not good to change too much stuff um, on your reef tank but that's about it so far uh, at this point everything's doing okay um, so I'm just gonna see if I can just get this back to immaculate condition here the sand bed is just uh, pet peeve of mine having that going on so yep thanks for watching and uh listening to my uh, episode here all right thank you